we go. We've got another portal. Don't think I'm quite ready to jump in it yet. But we'll be there soon. So, let's see. I'll go ahead and drop some of this stuff off. Got a full stack of sand. There's no cobble in there. Let's grab another let's grab a stack of cobblestone. We want that. Whatever this moon sand is, we'll put that in there. I don't know if the nature's compass works in the nether. I kind of want to check, so I'm going to bring it with us. Our boat will be useless. Let's drop this off, because I don't want to go to the other place. Uh, I think this should be fine. Hopefully we can find our way around pretty easily. Without too much difficulty. Uh, oh, we need a lot more torches. We do need a lot more torches. Let's make some of those real quick. That's better. Honestly, even that is kind of maybe not enough. I guess we'll find out. Let's jump in. My underground? Okay. Uh, so first things first, we need to put everything in a box. This is now my personal space. And I do not want enemies in my personal space. Not a place for friends. That is the only place for friends. No enemies. Here. No. We are just going to build this up. And we're going to make a nice little wall around our spawn in the nether. And we're going to put a ceiling on it. And then we'll figure out what to do. I need, crucially, um, oh wow, we are out of blocks here. I'm going to go back. It's at least marginally safer. an arrow. Dislike. Oh. Yep. Exactly my concerns. Um. Oh no. I need to work a little faster now. Pretty sure that's the sound a ghast makes. see us very easily. But that's why we want the ceiling.
Okay. So we're going to get out. We at least want to be able to get around in our little box. Okay. And we have now built a box in hell. Um, so... What we need to do now is pray that the ghast over there, in this direction, doesn't notice us. Um, let's see what's on the map. So, looks like if we're looking for nether quartz, this is all, all this brown stuff is soul sand. All this red stuff, bright red, is like forest biome. And the dark red is netherrack. And the netherrack is really where we're likely to find a lot of quartz. You can kind of see these white spots. I bet that that's quartz deposits. Not certain. Um, we do need to avoid this warped forest up here in the north. That bright greenish blue spot. Um, and I think we also probably need to avoid whatever this is. This black area is probably um, pretty dangerous. If I had to expect, it's like a, a bastion or something. Um, yeah. So I think we head over towards the dark room, which would be north from here. That is fortunately away from the gas, which does seem to be to the west. Um, so we're just going to make a break for it. Make sure to uh, close this in when we leave. Okay, and we're a little slow because we're on soul sand. Resonating crystal, that seems important. Okay, and we need to get out of here because there are skeletons. We just need seven nether quartz, and we found a few already. But we have to fight for it. Oh, I should have gotten uh, sharpness. Or uh, an iron sword, maybe. Okay. But here's some. Do we need iron for that? No. Oh, uh. So how much did we get? 16. Wow, we already got enough. Okay, that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> really happy about that. I kind of want to go exploring more, actually. I mean, yeah. Am I getting that resonating crystal? I do. I wonder what it's for. Oh, that's a ghast. What is this? I guess what happens if I shoot a shoot a vex at it? Oh, I missed. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that mana region is nice though. What is this? Bone. Oh, that's great. We need this. Wow. Fantastic. Big basalt pillars. Well, um, did we really just need? Double check. This makes three. For a polished rose quartz, we just need one other quartz. Yep. Yeah. Um, let's get some more here. I saw some up here. Oops. That's not what you want. Uh, waiting for server. Uh, Brawler's gem. Interesting. I found a gem. That seems to be able to fit into sockets. Oh, what is that? 
Hmm. Some kind of mob that haunts soul sand. Is it hostile, I wonder? It's probably hostile, right? I, I assume it's hostile. Wraith? Probably hostile, yeah. Not really that hostile. I'm pretty close to it. I assume it would attack me. It seems to not care about me, though. So I'm just going to take this bone. Because that is a lot of bone meal. Heck yeah. Okay, well, that was surprisingly easy. Um, usually, it's a bit more challenging to find what you're looking for in the nether. But I guess let's go home. So, 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 what we need to do now is make this into the rose quartz. So we need a redstone for this, which is back here. Uh-oh. Uh Oh, why did I think? Okay. Oh, I don't have quite enough. It's a lot of redstone. But this is a major step forward for our tech. Oh yeah. So we've got all of that that we need. Okay, so now what we need to do is polish this rose quartz. If we hit Y here, we can see there is sandpaper polishing. And to get this sandpaper, we need sand and paper. So, let's make some. Oh wait, also, it looked like there was better sandpaper. Paper and diamond dust. Hey, okay, might as well use that. It's probably faster. Um, and we've got our sugar cane. I want to make sure not to use all of this because it does. Um, I do want that to grow more of it. It's not like a lot of other plants where you need seeds. You actually, plant the sugar cane itself back down. Okay, uh, I don't know what those are for. Is there any use for these? It's a compost. Oh, right. I was thinking about composting some stuff anyway. That's <laughs> a nice reminder. Okay. Actually. Uh, so we want a diamond here. And then where's that hammer? I guess it's, whoops. I guess it's out here. How do I make diamond dust? Right, that's probably not the most efficient way to look into that. Oh. Mm, interesting. So it seems like you can't just hit it with a hammer. You know, that makes sense. That does make sense. Okay, well... There were other... sandpapery recipes. Uh, if I look at polishing... red sandpaper... Is it better than sand? I guess it's not. Well, 
We'll just make a normal sandpaper then. We have now polished the rose quartz. And if we combine this with an iron plate, we get electron tubes. And if we combine these electron tubes with andesite casings and um, really a lot of other things, we get a lot of other things. Um, but in particular, we are trying to get this. Crafting tables and brass casings, actually. So we need brass as well. <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, we're getting into it a little bit, but um, we will also need, I guess, to wit that bone, all of this bone can be made into bone meal. Oh, wow. Which is so much bone meal that I actually kind of want to make it back into bone blocks. Um, yeah. A lot of bone meal. Um, we can use that to grow trees, which is going to be very helpful. We're going to need quite a lot of wood. Uh, let's drop off some of these gems. Let's and clear out the inventory a bit. Um, here, grab that. Mm, put this back. I guess we didn't need the, uh, the boots after all. So, to make the casings, uh, we need to strip some wood, if I remember correctly. Um, I guess we should also, we do need that hammer to hammer out some iron plates. I'll grab that again. Um, you can see here, if you hammer various things, sometimes you get dust, sometimes you get a plate if it's a bar. Um, there is not a diamond ore that we can mine, though, to get a dust from it, so that will not work. But we need, um, I guess maybe with silk touch it might work. I wonder. Uh, there is some iron ore here. That'll work. We'll cook up a few more bars of it. Oh, we already had some cooked here. Uh, how much of this do we need? We have seven? Oh, that's great. Okay. Now these casings are a bit harder. Uh, because they take a few more steps. Just a few more steps. Not too bad. Got a lot of food. That's great. Picked up another arrow, I guess. Okay, um, now to make a brass casing, you need to deploy brass onto a casing. Um, I think you can actually also just apply the brass to your to the casing yourself, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. 
So we do need to get some brass, which we do not have, but we have plenty of stuff for it. So, uh, let's see. Oh, hmm. Never mind. Well, I guess maybe we can make an induction smelter. What do we need for it? Invar. Same problem. I need, uh... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I've got nickel, don't I? find any. And I guess not. This was the one we were looking for. No, I thought we did find this. Guess not. Yeah. I haven't seen that one. So yeah. We need nickel. And we don't have nickel anywhere until we get the excavator going. So we can't do any Envar stuff. Um, until we find a way to get steel. Oh. Hmm. You know, I think I'm going to have myself another think. I'm going to have another little think here. And what we can do... Because... Let's see if I stand back up here. I am really not sure. Okay. So, here's the thing. We can actually not do a lot of what I thought we could do. It turns out we really need coal. We just have to put the coal around the iron to make the steel. And we need so much coal um, that the only thing I can really think of is to go to the place where coal is most common, which is very hot really high in the world gen like around 140 is where you want to be it's like one and a half percent of the world gen. it's going to be so much coal and we just need to dig around up there and find a bunch of stuff but there's not that many places that are that tall unfortunately um, though we have a jagged peaks biome nearby and hopefully it is large um that's what we can hope for it's that it is a really big jagged peaks biome with lots and lots and lots of coal. Because um, I don't actually know of another way um, to make steel. If we look here, um, we can make it from smelting steel compound, which takes four coal and one iron. Um, we can blast steel dust, which we can get from grinding up um, steel ingots. That's not very helpful. Um, <clears throat> or we can, you know, eventually we'll be able to do this metallurgy stuff and enrich iron directly with coal. That would be very helpful. We can't really do any of that. Um, that's not really available to us. Uh, we can potentially do some bulk blasting stuff, um, with this fan. But this fan, uh, 
requires a brass casing. And we cannot quite get to brass. Where is it? What's it called? It's a cased fan. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't. Wait, really? Uh, something... What about the water wheel? Is it the water wheel that needed it? No. Oh. No, actually. Now that I think about it, we might actually be able to make this happen without coal. Yeah, we just need a lot of wood. And we've got all that bone. We've got all that bone we can use. So, let's go get a bunch of wood and turn it all, well, into, like, water wheels. <clears throat> Don't need that much, I guess, now that I think about it. We just need two water wheels and, um, these shafts, which are andesite alloys, so iron and andesite. We have a lot of andesite. Somewhere in here. Yeah, quite a bit. So we could make that. Definitely make some of that. Hmm. Trying to see if there's an issue with this. Let's see. Um, what are the depots? Can we make those by hand? Yeah. So this, we don't actually need a deployer, I think. We can just apply it. We just need to strip the log ourselves. Um, and if I remember correctly, there's another way to do this. Although maybe not. We might need a mechanical saw. No, because if we need a saw to make it, and we need a casing to make it, then there's got to be another way to do it. Manual item application, yeah. To a strict log. Which we somehow can make without a saw. Um, there's like a cutting board, I think. Yeah, cutting board. This is what we use. Four planks and two sticks. Okay. Well, we cooked all of our wood. Yeah, so let's um take some of this bone with us. Did I take the... Um... Wait, I didn't. I did. Okay, good. Wait, I hadn't taken the things off the screen. Well, I suppose I could have checked <clears throat> a different way now that I think about it. trees over there. Oh, you know what? I should have made an axe. Ah, the joy of modding. And just come back home. I have half a mind to make a, a diamond axe, but that might be a little overkill. Let's just make a stone. Several stone axes. Why did I get so much stone? <laughs> mm 
we are gonna break these axes. Oh yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah. Let's slash back now. Yeah. We can just vein mine these trees down. Used to be you needed a tinker's tool to do that. Had to work up a whole smeltery. Now you can just do it. You do it with your fist. Fantastic. Deforestation has never been easier. Wow, I have way too many axes. I need to go back. We'll be getting some uh, apples here too. That's quite nice. There is now a floating beehive. I dare not smack it. Also, I may be able to get stuff from it later. I don't know. I don't know what bees do in this mod. Pretty nearby. Hello, bee friend. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh. Um, why is there a single crying obsidian? Weird. Oh, there's silverfish. I need to smack it. Oh, there's a bunch of silverfish. Okay. I guess I'm in a fight here. Oh, there's several. Oh, no. Oh, there's so many. Why am I stuck? I can't jump. Oh, there's full health one. I didn't even see that one. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's so many. It's got to be a spawner underneath of it. It's got to be a spawner. It's gotta be there's a spawner. There is. Oh, that's the crying obsidian. That's what the crying obsidian was about. Um, can they get me? I don't I think they're having trouble getting to me. Nice, go water. Okay, so this is still bad. Um, but the water's helping. I guess I maybe I can hit him from here. Ha. Get Rex Silverfish. Oh no. I need oxygen. Ah. I almost died. I was hungry the whole time. I wasn't getting any health regen. Um, we need some food real quick. And then we'll go back and beat him up. Should also make some uh, actual weaponry. 
I'm still swinging my first stone sword. Let's make a diamond sword. And enchant it. That's going to be an upgrade. Uh, this one. we got soulbound comb cutter what does comb cutter do i guess does that give you a head let me see what soulbound does i don't actually know might be useful Oh, uh, that's not that useful. Does this let me reset it? No. It doesn't. I think I can uh, enchant something else. Uh, let me see what comb cutter does. Might be interesting. Uh, no idea. Not on the wiki. Comb cutter. The comb is a product obtained by breaking a hive with a scoop, a mining laser, a wand of excavation, or a quarry. So it might have something to do with bees. I don't think it has something to do with what we're doing here. So, um... I guess let's enchant this with efficiency, and then we'll see what uh, so we get here. A soul stealer? That might be good. Uh... Soul shards that can be applied to any sword. I don't know what soul shards are. Hmm. So this has something to do... Oh, with a lot of mods. Oh, it has to do with spawners. So that seems kind of helpful. Might be good to have that. Might be good to have. I'll grab that. Put Soul Stealer on it. We want other enchantments. We'll put books. But uh, now we've got a, a glowy diamond sword. We are less intimidated. Oh, I guess they're already gone. They probably drowned, now that I think about it. What's in here? Gold. Some iron. That's cool. A gem. Slime balls and an anvil. Ooh, all of that is pretty helpful. Let's, go. Let's make some room for it. I'll have to see what's going on with this apotheosis stuff. Uh, these gems seem pretty cool. Like they might be kind of strong. Let's see, um, I'm not really feeling the need for this bucket. Or the sand, for that matter. Oops. Well, we got a free anvil. That saves us a bunch of iron. Heck yeah. 
I guess I know why uh, there was a single crying obsidian. Now I know. Well, uh, that's a blizz. So this is tempting to explore. But it's not exactly <laughs> what we're looking for. The biome we're headed to is quite far away. I just happened to notice that. How did I even notice that? Yep. Oh yeah, it's noticed me. It's time to go. Right, I was chopping trees, and I saw that. And now the blizz is chasing me. <laughs> Please go away. That's good. Um, let's get even more wood. We have not enough. I don't know. So what I want to do... Let me chop all this off. grab our bone meal and use that to grow a bunch of trees and then that way we just have tons and tons of wood don't worry about it anymore it's also um just like a an anvil down somewhere i guess over here seems good enough Now we've got an anvil. We can add books to it if we want to enchant it further. But, uh... <clears throat> Let's get... Stuff with this. Can we eat bone meal trees at night? Yes. Okay. That's good. I was worried you could.
How many times? All right, how much wood do we got? Oh, we have a little over a stack of logs. That's pretty nice. Gonna be handy. Uh, we definitely needed all that. I think that's enough for now. Let's grab the boat this time. Okay. So now we want to make this cutting board, which is four. Yeah, four planks and two sticks. Just for one, and then I believe we need to use an axe on logs with it. We would have it like this here, and then with a stack of logs in our hand. Yeah, like so. Yeah, like this. We'll just strip a bunch of these logs. Okay, that should be fine for now. So we have a bunch of these stripped logs, and what we can do is take iron, make it into nuggets, and then andesite, which, where did I put that? Here? Yeah. Whoops. Punch it with the nugget. Um, anyway. So we take the andesite, and the nuggets, is this backwards? No, no, that's right. And this makes andesite alloy. And what we can do is take these strip logs, if I remember correctly, and manually apply it with right click. Yeah, ta-da! Okay, so we have now entered the andesite age. Very cool. So yeah, we are, uh, we have officially begun create. <laughs> it was quite a journey to get into this. So what this mod does, um, we'll talk about more next time. Um, but essentially it allows us to make pretty realistic machinery. It's very cool. We're going to be using water wheels to drive shafts, which will have gears on them. And then those gears will turn. And I think before we, uh, call it for today i think i'll do a uh, a few of those shafts and gears just to show you the general setup of what's going on here um yeah so <clears throat> let's start out there is a way to make a hand crank i think yeah You know what? Actually, yeah. We'll save this. We'll do this next time. We'll, um, we'll get into all of this machinery that we can make <clears throat> with this wonderful endocyte casing in our next episode. But uh, for now, I am going to sign off. I hope you've had a wonderful night uh, and that the rest of your night goes wonderfully too. Or morning or evening or wherever you are. Uh, and I will see you next time.